everybody, this is Glenda with Fraylins and Friends Crafts Plus. I'm back and I thank you so much for, the, for being patient with me the last few days and for all of the new comments and comments from all around the world. You've given me a new, new vigor, I guess, <laughs> to to do these videos. I admit there were a few days I didn't want to make a thing of it or say anything at that time, but except I did make a comment that I needed time to do some things, and I did. And I did get some things done. One of them was to try and bring my brain back to where I needed to be. So, but I'm, I did some more editing on my new book. I did some other things and now I'm back with you and I am so appreciative of the way all of you, uh, this thing gets in my way if I don't <laughs> so I really am appreciative one thing I want to show you let's get rid off of that let's I want to show you this uh, this is what I did remember I painted the tulips and I had I had done this this um, background according to a video that I saw on YouTube on how to do it and but then after I put in the, the tulips I decided well they were just not very big for this whole canvas so I thought okay I'm gonna just do these little white dots all over and I really do like it more and I <laughs> I just painted a black edging all around it but I got some on the front, so just kind of around the corners there. So I tried to fix it, and you can see here up on the top, I uh, added a little too much white. So I've got, I still got to fix a little, but it's really, it's really looking better, and I'm going to be much happier with it on the wall. And that, to me, is that's my first real canvas painting that I, I think I did one in an art class in high school one time. And it turned out awful. It didn't look at all like I was what I was painting. If I turned it, I do remember thinking if I turned it upside down, it looked like a very, very angry ocean. <laughs> but that was the only thing I could think of. But whatever. That was then. This is a long time later. And I was able to watch it done and it really helped but I still got some fixing to do the other thing is I was running low on beads in order to make a whole you know a whole necklace of a particular assortment of beads or other and so I got a whole new thing of beads and I've sorted about half of it now so I'll show you what there. I've got about half of the bag sorted. There were still quite a few beads, but they were just like a few of this, a few of that. You know, there weren't and but I was getting down to the point where there really weren't enough for very <laughs> for very many more necklaces because each one was really getting low and it would have taken too many combinations. But so I've been sorting these again to get them into the right um, oh that's that's a big one that's a big one where do I put it <laughs> there no nope, it's still bigger than that I got some big ones of the brown there oops so but I've just got all of these interesting ones and there's most of them are same, the exact same ones, thank goodness, because that way I can continue to use the ones I've got because they're off the same type. But I want to show you something here quick. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> here. If you remember when I first started, I got these root... If we... If, if anybody remembers the root beer barrel candies we used to get, 
you know, the root beer type, and they tasted just like, a, I don't know, not especially like A&W root beer or maybe Barb's or Dad's, I don't know, but, but we used to get these candies as kids, and they were shaped a lot like that. So I'm calling these root beer barrels, and I have them in a couple of different colors. And I got these new ones this time that are really tiny. Look at that. It's just like a tiny little root beer barrel. And so that might add some more in interest to, I hope you can see the shape. Let's see the ridges there. Might add some more interest to some of these with the smaller beads that I, when I use the tiny beads. Because those can get really, really tedious after a while. <laughs> because they are so small and when you're doing that many, it's just nice to have something to break it all up. Uh, this is a little bit bigger, like that. So, but yeah, we've got all different sizes and shapes again, just like before. And I've got more of these soccer ball looking things. There for a little bit, when I first started going through this batch, I didn't see very many of these long ones in the black like this but I'm beginning to see more of them so anyway what it's been it's it's coming along really good and I'm not gonna make you watch me do all of these I just I've got some of them done and I just wanted to show you that we got some more so there's gonna be some more um, there's gonna be some more necklaces to bead here so I'm trying to get rid of the ones in my hand so I can concentrate on talking to you there <laughs> okay there we are adjusted so I'll I'll be finishing getting these in there um, but I'll probably make a couple of get a couple of of necklaces made I need to lay them out uh, before I do it and I've got a little thing that I do a uh, tray that I do that on so that they're all laid out in order and stuff and it's like it's like okay I'm trying to be organized and it's not my nature but at least I can organize for the short term <laughs> which means I organize by each project and everything else gets shoved out of the way <laughs> I've tried my whole life to try and find some way to be organized sometimes I have come very close to being organized and it doesn't last for very long <laughs> I leave dishes in the sink for a day I it gets fit, it gets cleaned up. It's I don't have a super messy house. I really don't. And I don't have super messy anything. My husband, thank goodness, is a helpful one with that. He takes care of a lot of it now that I'm kind of restricted on how much energy I can spend at once. But I've never really had a super messy house, even when it was me doing a lot of it and dishing out chores to the kids and that kind of stuff it's just not I've just had a hard time organizing house never had enough closets enough containers enough of this <laughs> you can't have enough unless you use them well and I I'm still I I put this stuff together is an attempt to organize that I'm finding out, well, they work to a point, and then they don't. So, we're still working on it. <laughs> so, when that, when we get to that, then we'll have another cleaning or organizing video. <laughs> so, anyway. I'm not going to put myself through any more torture of how terrible I am at, at keeping things up. I do shove things under. I shove things behind. <laughs> but, you know, eh, it's just...
trying to find room for everything. And a lot of it could probably be ditched. <laughs> so, I will talk to you another day. And maybe sometime we'll get, de get down to ditching some things. <laughs> I don't mean anything I want to keep. I mean just junk that needs to be ditched. I'm going to cut all this out anyway. And then I'll get to this. I love you all. You mean a lot to me. Your comments mean everything. They're encouraging. They help me keep going. So that's for all of you. I dearly love you. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. Click that notification bell and please do give me a thumbs up. And if you have watched this all the way through, down below tell me what your favorite kind of bead, it doesn't have to be one of these, your favorite kind of bead is. It, can, it doesn't have to be one of these wooden beads. It can be anything. but or, or it can be a shape. But whatever, just say down below. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night.